So hey Ben, what are we playing today then? Well Kelly, we are playing Cuphead. It's out on the Switch now. It came out on the 18th of April. It's priced about $16.99 on the eShop and it's come out about 18 months after it was on the Xbox One and PC. And uh, it's it's good, and we're going to jump into it now and just play a little bit of it. Um, we are playing on the Switch, uh, we're playing in docked mode, and we're going to do a little bit of co-op. We're going to start a new game, uh, that's my main save file, that's kind of our save file thus far. And that is, uh, we'll, we'll jump into a new game and show off some of the early bits. So in this version, of one of the improvements or one of the extras that's in, you can now play as Cuphead or Mugman, his good buddy Mugman, from the <laughs> off. I think in the, the old version you had to unlock them. Um, but I'll jump in his uh, cuphead because I do like red characters normally. And uh, once the game starts, you'll be able to jump in. But th this is is a really a, a really friggin' good little indie game. Um, it, amazing amount of work went into it. It's all hand drawn animation, heavily based on 1930s cartoons. If you think Steamboat Willie, old flashy cartoons like Betty Boop, things like that. It takes loads of inspiration from that. Loads of little references to those that era. Uh, certain bosses are named after different uh, artists. Um, and this is kind of the story. Cupman, Mugman, best buddies live with, uh, is it Father Kettle? Elder Kettle, sorry, their grandfather, or he's, he's something like that. I don't, don't really go into detail. Uh, but they go to the Devil's Casino, they're playing, they're on a roll, there's King Dice, he's a kind of sleazy casino manager. Um, and they're on a roll, and the Devil shows up, and he basically makes them a deal that's all or nothing, double or quits. Um, if they win, they get a huge amount of money. Uh, they get all the loot in the casino, and if not, uh, the soul is their their soul is the devil's. Um, and Cuphead, being he's a bit of a dick. Cuphead, I think he's a cocky little little thing. Uh, Mugman, obviously the more kind of shy and bashful one. Cuphead rolls the dice, and they lose. The devil, you know, he basically is going to claim the soul. So they come up with a deal. Basically, they're going to go and debt collect for the devil. Loads of other people owe their souls to the devil, so they're going to be his debt collectors, um, and he'll he'll spare them if if they go and do that. So they've kicked out and off on their adventures they go. Um, yeah, so that's that's basically the story. Probably stupid. You can kind of imagine that in a, a kind of old old timey cartoon. Um, and yeah, I mean, basically this is a run and gun game, kind of in the style of Contra. I mean, this is the the little tutorial. I think you can join. There you go. There we go. Uh, this is basically just a tutorial. This is the notorious tutorial uh, where basically one of the early previews, it, I can't remember, was it IGN or GameSpot or something that could not get through the... Uh, yeah, I remember that. And it just it, it, it sparked up this whole debate around do games journalists need to be good at games? Um, and, uh, you know, there was never any conclusion. Like, there isn't to, to most of these you know, <laughs> threads that pop up. They should be able to make it through this tutorial. <laughs> you, you would hope so, especially seeing as it basically says on screen what you should be doing. I pressed the wrong Ooh, button. I pressed the wrong button. You know why? Because one of the things I would definitely oh, recommend... Pressed... It's because the buttons are mapped back okay. to original because we're on new valve. Remap your buttons because the default controls are... They're, they're fine. They're all on the face buttons. They're very classic. Um, but I would definitely... Ah, oh, hold on. Keep Maybe going. I... Ah, sorry. I'm just pressing the wrong button. Right. Uh... LZ? Yeah, that's what I'm pressing. Then yours are not mapped to the same thing. Let's have a look in the controller. Uh... L <laughs> is... Are you just not pressing it? Yeah, probably not pressing it. Right? Oh no. What? It's that one, isn't it? Yeah, it's really weird. It's really not doing it. This is not good. Uh, oh. Yep. Try now. Okay. So you got a parry mechanic. You can kind of do like a double jump. And it's on anything that's pink, and I've just fucked that right up. <laughs> okay, we're back on track. I'm not really sure if that was a glitch or whether your control was just set to something else there, and we just completely missed the point. Great. And then you've got your EX move, which is uh, A. I keep saying circle, but no, it's A. You got to collect coins. You can use coins to buy new abilities. It's a really brief tutorial, and I'd say I don't know how anyone could fuck it up, but. We really made we hard work out of it. 
But yeah, there's loads of charm in this game. It's um, so it's, it runs it uh, in docked. It's 1080p, 60 frames a second. In undocked, it's 720, but still 60 frames. Um, the gameplay runs in 60 frames a second, but all the animation runs at 24 frames to match the old uh, animation style. So visually, it looks identical to a car, uh, an old cartoon. Gameplay-wise, it's really sharp. Um, and yeah, this is like the overworld map, and you can meet loads of like weird little characters. And a lot of these are rejected ideas from uh, Cuphead when they were trying to come up with a mascot. They decided against animals quite early on because they're quite bog standard. Um, and obviously they, they probably got probably saw Sonic the Hedgehog in the new movie <laughs> and thought animals are probably something we stay away from. But uh, he's an old uh, apple head or whatever you want to call him. He's a, a rejected design, but he gives you some cool coins to get you started. Um, and I tell you what, before we go to the shop, let's just do a boss battle. This is probably the easiest boss battle in the game. So this is, is a run and gun game in the style of Contra, in the style of uh, Gunstar Heroes, a particular favourite of mine. Um, except it's got a real big focus on bosses, so most of the levels are just boss fights, multi-tiered, multi-phased boss fights that are really, really tough. Um, I mean, the boss fight we're about to do is pretty easy, but when I first did it, it was difficult. <laughs> oh. oh. And you get graded as well, so you've got to meet certain conditions, like you've got to parry, uh, you've got to parry three things, you get bonus points for all the health you finish the level with, um, the time you take to kill a boss, and it's, it's, it's tough to get A's. I feel like even the boss fights that I do well on, I never get A's. <laughs> I don't think I've ever got an A. Oh Christ, I just walked into one. Okay, this does seem a lot easier now. Yep. <laughs> so this boss, this is the hardest phase. So you can shoot the carrots out the air. Oh my God, he will fire beams at us. So that's my super attack. You can get new super attacks and we'll show up, uh, the shop off in a oh, sec. Rubbish. That's the thing, like we're saying this is pretty easy, but it all Aww. it takes is a bit of a fuck up. Oh shit. Oh god, we're both on one HP. I got too cocky. Nice. <laughs> I love how all the boss fights are like framed like uh, old timey uh, box matches as well. It's good, the little um word that comes up at the start, like Yeah, like it's uh, and it's, like it's the announcer. <laughs> Oh god, we did not get a good HP bonus. Oh, it was just at the end there. Yeah, we fucked that up, we got too cocky. But even that, that's like an old uh, cartoon kind of title screen that they used to have. Yeah. It's it's really cool. Even the loading screen is like a little, uh, little um, what are they, hourglasses? Yeah, yeah. Christ, I got it, went completely blank there. So the only um, the only thing this hasn't got on the uh, the the previous version of the game is it's to say it runs perfectly identically. Uh, the, it's just the load times are slightly longer, um, but we're talking like load times that were five seconds to a down uh, up to about ten even. Um, so it's 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 not even noticeable really. <laughs> yeah. So this pork rind, uh, so you can buy uh, different different types of um, attacks. So I usually start with the chase. So actually, it's very time. useful. Um, but there's loads of different types and when you buy one, another one will pop in, but yeah, so I, I, um, I bought the Chaser, which is basically a homing missile, a green little star things, very reminiscent of the homing missile from Gunstar Heroes. Yeah, they're very useful. And I've got the invisible dash, so I can... So you just bought the smoke bomb, yeah, which yeah. alters your dash, which is, is also really good, but I'm out of, out of things. But yeah, that's like a shotgun blast, it's really short range, but spreads in three directions. That one's a weird one, I've been playing with it on my main save file. You fire in front of you and it goes in a short range arc, but then it curls back around like a frisbee and, and travels at the length of the level behind you. Okay. And it does bonus damage for um, extra uh, for, for backward shots. It, it's weird, it, I, I don't know, and I've not used the lava, but you can get that, it gives you an extra heart, uh, extra hit basically, um, but it makes you weaker, so it's a, it's a kind of a balance between being harder to kill but having to take longer to burn enemies through phases, burn bosses through phases. So it's it's a bit of a, a bit of a toss up. Um but yeah there's there's quite a little bit of depth like I and I'm finding it especially as I go on to the game because I'm I'm at the end of world two. There's four worlds, three worlds and then there's the the end game which is I assume against the devil. <laughs> uh there we go. So you've got your little cards. 
uh, and you can equip different things. So I've got an extra shot, so I'll be able to change through my shots uh, mid-game and you'll have your special dash. But uh, yes, yeah, so you got World 1, 2, 3 in the finale. And it kind of tells you, it's like your scorecard, it'll tell you the different bosses and it'll give the names as you unlock them. As you can see, there's two levels without checkbox next to them. They're running gun levels, they're more traditional kind of uh, platforming levels. Um, but anyway, we'll go, we'll go down here. Um, this is the next, next main fight. Rivian Croaks. So, one thing about this level is the whole thing is a homage to classic Street Fighter. <laughs> the two bosses here are Ryu and Ken. Their attacks are based on their attacks. They're wearing a white and red outfit, like oh, they are. Yeah. And the background is um, is a homage to like an old Street Fighter level where there's just a crowd watching you fight. Oh, gosh. This this is definitely a step up from the previous. Right, if, yeah, if you keep damage on them, uh, he's going to come at us. So that's Blanca's roll run. Oh no, sorry I'm dead. Oh. Oh. So I'm in a really bad place. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong buttons myself now. Yeah, this, we, we really balls this up. Oof. I don't know if they're meant to be sonic booms, or maybe I'm taking the reference too far. Ah, oh. I think they are meant to be sonic booms. <laughs> but I mean, when you when you if you really pay close attention to all the animation, this is all hand animated, frame by frame. As I say, twenty four frames a second. Um, no one. It, it took absolutely years to build. Oh god. Ah, okay. oh, this one, yeah. Oh, I always forget about the coins and end up getting killed by them. What, trying to collect them? No, just forgetting like that, because they're kind of small and unintrusive. Oh, for God's sake, I don't even know what I did there. So that's why I quite like, if you die, you can kind of see how far you were through the, the level and also tells you the phases. So you can kind of guess how far through the fight you are. <laughs> I like how you start the level by drinking uh, the straw puff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like Mugman um, a lot, actually. I like how they've got different personalities, different animations. It's cool. Oh, I agree. Ah. Oh, man, that was bad. Oh, no. Oh, God, I'm dead. Oh, God, I nearly missed you there. Yeah, it's jump, duck, duck, jump. No, no, yeah, I'm, I'm talking rubbish. That's that's not the pattern at all. I think it changed, didn't it? No, it, it it's low, medium, high. You uh, jump over the low, you can duck under the medium, and you, you just stand under the high. But I just keep ducking. Oh. So a lot of this game is really very much like about placement uh, and pattern recognition a lot of the bosses are so like I kind of feel like it's not that the bosses are particularly tough they are hard but it's it's oh, it's, oh god it's more that you're so fragile I'm down oh, oh god we yeah really uh, I think it's I'm having a hard time talking and uh, <laughs> playing this is not a hard boss So I mentioned I'm at the end of World 2 on my main file and it is getting pretty brutal. Um, every phase of a fight is absolutely oh. rock solid. Okay, he's going to roll at us. So yeah, the, the, the green home and stuff is really, really useful. Um, but it's weaker, so you're doing more damage directly. So it is really useful uh, playing co-op because you can resurrect each other with a parry. However, you also take... Oh, God. <laughs> I think you're standing too close to him. It um, does get harder to pick each other up after a few hits as well. Yeah, you start um, raising... Oh, like, yeah, that was so quick. But um, you start flying up higher very quickly and... It's a bit of a trade-off, actually, because while there's two of you, enemies have more health. 
No, the diff I hate this yellow one. There's a few different variations of these. Oh, for God's sake. Uh, for these, oh, I told you that it's all the, always the coins. Oh. this one? Oh, it's just the green one. I think that's it, isn't it? There's just three different types. Yeah. Yes! Oof. Hey! See, easy. Easy when you know how. But yeah, he's, he's, he's an easy boss. <laughs> I think a lot of, like, especially, oh god, we did not do very well. Skill level. I, I don't think that's true. <laughs> it's a pity star. Uh, two star. The DR two star. So that's very much uh, like, yeah. So that uh, what's probably worth doing before the so the next level is probably running gun. But before we do that, I'm thinking we go over and do this bonus level. In Mausoleum. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so she's actually telling you how to beat this level. Mausoleum. So there's a, there's a mausoleum in every world, as far as I can tell, and they all grant you a, um, a new super move. So at the moment we've got that big fireball, but you can get better ones than that. Or at least mm, better. It might be subjective. They're at least different. <laughs> Collecting them. If I take right, you take left. Sure. Sick. I nearly lost the match there. I was busy watching you do it as well. <laughs> Can't I was hitting one the two. Yeah, it's about timing your jumps really. I've I've definitely lost this level before because I overextended. So the ones, the little granddad ones, are faster. Yeah, there's a uh, there's other versions as well in later later levels. Hey, it's Miss Chalice, or the ghost of Miss Chalice. Ah, she the third character you can play as. Yeah, so they've got some DLC coming out at some point in the future, and apparently a Miss Chalice is going to be a, a new character. But it's it's basically that character, but the 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 living version. The living version, yeah. Blew up that mausoleum. Cool, got super. Uh, and she will not let you progress till you've equipped it. <laughs> it is actually quite good because when you first get new items, pork rind doesn't let you move on till you've equipped things. And same with that. It basically, it makes sure that you understand that you've got different options yeah. around that. It's it's quite good. Um, if we head back this way, we will do a run and gun level. <sighs> and now you think run and gun levels would be easier? They're not. <laughs> no. I've, this is the first one, and it's the one I've done the most, and it's the one I have the most problem with. I seem to get the hell kicked out of me on it. Here goes. Right. And that's like, that, that load of time's about as bad as it gets. Oh my god. What the hell am I doing? So running guns are basically an opportunity to get um, extra money as well. There's usually five coins in every level, and it's it's a case of do you chance it to get the to get the cash. And the answer to that is always. <laughs> Those blueberries um, always come back.
I gotta admit, like the uh, the Horman bullets make this a lot easier. Yeah, I think it's always useful for one one player to have that. My recommendation would definitely be buy these first because I've used them in so many boss fights. It's it's like easy mode. Oh, so this is a new super. Saved you. <laughs> Thanks. I lost it at the end. Oh my god, that's the easiest we've ever done it. Yeah. I think I screwed up the HP bonus though. <laughs> yeah, that, that's still probably the best run I've ever had on that level. So, the next boss is... Gooby Legrand? They've all got names. So all the levels have names, but the bosses of also are, are named characters. So it's like Gooby Legrand in Abuse the Ooze? Yeah, it's so like a cartoon episode. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sounds so obvious when you say it like that. <laughs> now, Bruce one thing Bruce. I didn't say is this, we've been playing on regular mode, but there's also a simple. And I'll be perfectly honest, I've never played the simple version because I'm... I, like... oh, I was just about to ask. Because we've just gone for regular. Yeah, well, you know, if you're going to play a hard game, you, you, wanna, you want the challenge. Wallet. Ah, oh, that was stupid. Watch out. Oops, I just... I can't remember what he does here. He gets big, and then does a big boxing. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. Well, Jesus Christ. Ah. Jesus Christ, I was, he's the easiest boss in the game. <laughs> we were just being stupid. Way. Yeah, I, I get too used to doing my dash and then I, I do it when I shouldn't do it. Yeah, I, I wouldn't recommend the dash as at least a, a first thing because you, it becomes too much of a crutch. Oh, yeah. Oh, it did save you there. I say it comes too much of a crutch. I'm so used to not aiming. Oops. Oh come on! That was such a ridiculous. I was like round. stuck against. Ah. I did it again. I, I keep going for it's you. Okay. Right now, we shouldn't even get hit. Shouldn't. Stretch, let's go. Ah, oh, it's the bouncing off the side of the screen that does me. Ah. Every Oh come on! Oh god, we're making this really hard work. Okay, here's a strange question, right? You see, you get parry bonuses for boss fights. I never understand what you can parry in this fight. There's no pink as far as I can tell. No, I'm not sure. Uh... Oh, no. Oh! <laughs> God's sake. I feel like we've got slightly further. It's because it's I said this guy was the easiest boss in the game. That's it, he jinxed us. Every time, every time, it's that jump off the goddamn side. Ah. Oh. The best tactic I've found is to walk into him. Because then you're always, he's always going to jump over you. 
stops now. Because you're dashing into them rather than dashing under them. Yeah. Oh, are you slow at reacting like me? There we go, I'm burning through this phase because the last phase is the easiest. Oh yeah, I remember this phase. I did nearly the, utter the words, I don't think any oh, of us have ever died. Maybe. Oh, come on. I know, so, yeah. You dashed into it again, didn't you? I did, yeah. Yay! Yay. Fuck you, Googly the Grand. I made it to the end. <laughs> yeah, we just steamed through these. Yeah, I know. I mean, what we've been, we've been recording for 30 minutes, thereabouts. Yeah, well, 10 minutes of sorting out the controllers. Yeah, that, that is a point. I do like the little jig they've got going on. Oh, it's great. It's just charming. Everything about this game is charming. Really, really like it. As much as it's frustrating, though, I, I, I've been stuck on some of the bosses in this game as much as I've been stuck on some of the bosses in Sekiro. And having them both on the go at the same time is not good for your health. <laughs> So another soul collected. So the next level is, I want to show this one off before we uh, we maybe wrap up. Um, but basically this guy is like a little engineer. I don't know what he is. What What is he? Uh, oh, is he, is is he, he a... hip flask? Uh, uh, I thought a bullet, but... I don't know if you look, he's, <laughs> he's got, got a, a cap, cap on, on his on. head. I'm going to go with hip flask. Did he have a name? Uh, I don't think so. If you know what he is, answers on a postcard. <laughs> so this is another tutorial because there's a couple of different types of levels. There's boss fights, there's running guns, and then there's aeroplanes. So it's kind of the same controls. So you can parry. Uh, what's your special? A. Oh, oh yeah, this guy just don't have any. Um, and shrink. So instead of a dodge, you've got a shrink. So you go a little... Uh. See, I've got my um, dash on, which is going to do no good. But Yeah, that's one of the things that is maybe more a little bit of a frustration is that when you're in the planes, you still have the benefit of your equipment and talismans, but most of them are discounted. So your invisible dash doesn't count here. My homing bullets don't count. But if you equip the heart, extra heart... It does count. So it's a little bit inconsistent, a little bit frustrating, but never mind. Uh, I tell you what, before we fight Hildeberg, is it worth going to get that extra heart? Extra heart, yeah. Give me more of a chance. Come on, pop round. Give us that heart. <laughs> right, I'm going to equip. Uh, I don't actually have a charm, so that's quite useful for me. Oh, that is good. Right, let's go. So, I think it's fair to say that this next boss, man, no, boss, boss is. Well, was the bane of our first playthrough. Hildeberg in Threatening Zeppelin. This is probably the first really legitimately hard boss. Yeah, we spent a good 50 minutes just one minute sessions dying, going dying. I think we did fight her for about 40 minutes, 50 minutes solid. <laughs> oh, I forgot how frustrating this was. I, yeah. I remember the music. It's the music. It and the that ha ha, ha. That, that always gets us. I forgot about that. Oh, this ball, yeah. yeah. God, I'm getting I'm getting flashbacks. Oh, oh did I get hit? No, I didn't. Uh, I didn't. Oh no, I did, did. I did. Jesus ball. Christ. I forgot how fast she was. Oh my god, come on. 
Oh, so I've got my super super. So one thing probably haven't really covered is that um, your supers are the cards at the bottom next to your HP, and if you have like a full stack of cards, they'll they'll flash, and you can do a super super, which oh, is no. ah uh, oh this guy ah. Oh. Probably gonna die. Still in the bottom of the screen then. Hey, oh god. But um yeah, sorry, so if you've got full deck of cards like I have now, you get your super super, but if you only have a few cards, you get that super, which is just like a big bomb and that got Oh no, I've died. Ah! That, that fucking ha 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 that I wouldn't use them at this point because she's hard oh, to she's hit. Oh, she's going, she's going. Go for it, go for it. I can't believe we got this far. Yeah. Go ahead. We're watching UFOs. Yep. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Thank you. Twitchy. Oh, oh, time. oh look how close Oh we my god. Again. Right, one more go. We're definitely better. Yeah, I know, that was so much easier. <laughs> 45 minutes on this, 50 minutes on this the first time. And around. we both got to it as well. Hey look, we right, haven't watch uh, out for the ha has. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Is that the bull? It's always the bull, isn't it? It's for always the bull one. first. Because fears two can be two different things. Yeah, it can we be... can get the Gemini or the um, the Archer. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. Sagittarius. Is it Sagittarius? I think so. Yeah, I think you're right. I'm avoiding the horns this time. Oh, we 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 ploughed through that. Oh my god, it got me. <laughs> oh no. Oh come on, that was you got hit by the easy thing. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Oh, Gemini, oh, here Gemini. we go. This one I'm not... is both easy and harder. It really depends if you get if you just get caught in the gunfire. Yeah, like that. Sometimes you can get hit straight away. Yeah, and like it, it's straight. coming out of the I'm gonna burn through the spheres. Go I'd on. suggest you do the same. Just because I don't like the unpredictability of it. Yeah, I'm the same. Oh. Go small, go small. No, I did. I just pressed the wrong button. No, I didn't. So obviously. you didn't. <laughs> Here we go. Oh no. oh no, I'm down. I'm down. Oh no, to you. Oh. Stay a bit forward. Yeah. Because <laughs> it'll give you a bit more um, positioning. Oh! That was worse than last time. Um. <laughs> right, one more run, one more run. <laughs> Just one more time. We'll do one more. And we'll, uh, we'll, we'll probably oh, call it a day. Oh, come on. I'm getting sloppy now. Yeah, you're getting really careless. Because I'm just thinking if we're, we're both going to end up just doing stupid shit all the time. Oh. Oh, God, that was close. What got me there? The bullet. I didn't even oh. see it. I didn't realise I was super super. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> you, Hilda. Oh, come on! Could have parried the one I actually avoided. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. Right, she's out of the fears, she's back. God, that was so close. Save your, save your thing till the last phase. Because I'm not that, I, I assume I'm you can sure burn it in this, this but I don't know for a fact. Oh, I'm down. Thank you. Remember, stay a bit forward so you can avoid that. Uh. Stay a bit forward. Oh. 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 You're on your own. I'll pull you missiles. You, oh. you walked in there. I walked into it. Oh. <laughs> right, this is legitimately the last one. I thought that was going to be, but I'm not. I'm not going down on one where you walked into the final attack. <laughs> I hate this boss so much. It's because she's like she's taunting. She's such a bitch. That's why. Like none of the other bosses, I've I've fought uh, Grim Matchsticks oh. far more than this, and I'm not angry at him, but I'm angry at this woman. Is he the dragon? Yep, <laughs> he's horrible. He's by far the worst. He's so fiddly. Oh. Oh, I was just trapped there. I've got to say that is one thing that I've noticed in this game. Sometimes the attacks between the minions and the bosses, sometimes you just end up in a, just a position that is completely unavoidable. It depends because sometimes you get in a bad place with the uh, twins. Oh, I went into that. I'm so low on health. Yeah, I'm just going to launch straight into it. Oh. Oh, I'm down, I'm down. Kel, get forward. what you get. Dad. Was that the tenth time, Lucky? Uh, no, it was only fifth. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't too bad. That was definitely a marked improvement. So we got to the final phase, the whole. Yeah, time. we God, we barely got past phase one the first time. Oh, we were eight seconds above the timeout. Oh, is it two minutes? Yeah, that seems to be the general cut off. Hey, I'll take a B. I'll take a victory over her. I hate her so much. But yeah, that that's 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 cuphead. Uh, we've probably gone as far as we want. We've, we've done most of World One actually. We've, we've gone quickly through. There's not that much to go. There's one more yeah. boss and one more run and gun, but the run and gun is going to be problematic for us. I know for a fact. Um, so we will call it there. But yeah, that's cuphead on the Switch. Uh, Sixteen ninety nine on the Switch. I would say it's definitely worth it. I'm really enjoying it. It's a really charming game. Real challenge though. Definitely, that's the caveat. I'd, I'd say if this is not for the faint of heart. It's a big challenge, but you do feel good once you you master the level, or fluke it in some cases. Yeah, definitely a little <laughs> bit of luck here, but uh, yeah, um, that's that's covered, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the quick look.